Hey guys, Kevin down here. What I'm going to do in this video is review a lavalier mic that can be used with Android devices, Apple devices, computers, laptops, and uh, tablets, and other devices as well. It's from a company called Blue Smart. Now, the problem that you've got with a lot of um, lavalier mics is that they don't work well with Android or Apple. And I was reading about this, and one of the reasons is with a 3.5mm jack, you've got the TRRS 3.5mm jack. The TRRS stands for Tip Ring Ring Sleeve. Now apparently the original configuration here was created by Nokia and it goes left audio, right audio, mic, ground. Apple came along and decided to change it. Imagine just to sell, you know, headphones in their own kind of unique uh, accessories. And they changed it to left audio, right audio, ground and mic. Basically, they just changed the ground and the microphone at the end. They changed those two little parts round with each other. And it, it seems such, such a pointless little change, you know, but this is what companies did in the past and they still do. Uh, but that's why many microphones and, you know, you get Bluetooth headphones and um, just regular headphones that's got the remote control and they'll work with an iPhone and they won't work, work with uh, Android. But apparently, this works with both and I believe it's because it comes with an adapter. So let's take a closer look at this and we'll see what it's like. One, you know, we'll open it up and then I'd like to do some audio tests and we can test it out and see whether it's worth the money. At the moment, this retails for just under £10 in the UK and it's about $12 in the USA. So it's a very cheap solution if you're recording through your smartphone or your, um, your tablet, things like that, and you want to get a better mic. This is a really cheap way to do it. So let's see if it's worth the money. So as you can see, it just comes in really basic packaging. It just says microphone for smartphone. Not the, the, the coolest way to do it, but nothing else in there. So this is the smartphone, and you can see the branding there, Blue Smart. Uh, I always love when they put you know things in a pouch because accessories tend to get lost and broken and whatnot. So it's always good to have a little pouch. Plus, if you stop using this, you can always use this for something else. Um, let me see. Okay, let's see what else is in here. Anything else in here? I think that's it. Okay, so we have the lavalier mic itself. We have. It's going to be focus here for some reason, I don't know why. We've got the lavalier mic, we've got the adapter that I was referring to there, yeah. and we've got a crumpled up manual that doesn't really ex um, really explain much. It's just basically explain this is a clip on mic, a lavalier mic, and let's quickly check the Amazon listing. It says that you get the mic, you get the lapel clip, an adapter, two sleeves in one bag. I don't know what they mean by two sleeves, but this is it. So the real test now is to try this out and see if it works. So what we'll do first is I'll try it out with uh, an audio one. And then hopefully what I can do is show you in a video app and hopefully we can get that working as well. So I'm now recording using my Google Nexus 6P smartphone. I've got the lavalier mic from Blue Smart connected all the way to me. I've got the lapel clip in and as you can see I've got the little uh, windshield on top otherwise known as the little Michael, Michael Jackson um, haircut type of thing. Most people call it a, a foam shield or a phone, foam, uh, a microphone wind jammer. Lots of different names. Now I'll just put this back on. I apologise if that's creating a lot of noise. What I wanted to do initially, what my original plan for this was, I wanted to show you me talking like I am just now with the lavalier mic, and then I wanted to take it out, show you me talking just using the microphone on my phone, and then I wanted to keep switching back and forth to give you an impression of how it worked. Unfortunately, it's going to be a bit of a pain to do that because... What happens with open camera, um, the application that I'm using just now, is that when you take it out, it will default to the to the um, default mic, but then when you put it back, for whatever reason, when you add an external mic during a video, it doesn't work. So just you know, to keep things simple, I'll do this at the end of the video just to illustrate the difference in quality. 
just to run through some stats, um, this is a condenser microphone, it's omnidirectional. The range is 20 hertz to 16 hertz, uh, 16 kilohertz. Sensitivity minus 30 decibels to plus 2 decibels. Standard 3.5 millimeter plug. The cable length here is 4.92 feet and uh, that is 1.5 meters. Now in practice, you know, ideally what you want is you'd want this closer and um, you wouldn't want the cable lying around but it just shows you i'm just sitting here i'm probably about two feet away from the phone um or maybe in fact i must be more than that yeah so i'm about three feet away and you know i'm using the mic no problem so far you know I, i've did quite a lot of tests with this i spent about 20 minutes 30 minutes trying out lots of different applications um as far as just to show you the audio how it works and i'm really impressed with the quality the biggest annoyance so far hasn't it hasn't been anything to do with the microphone itself. The biggest annoyance has been finding an application that works. On Android, I tested about 10 different applications there, and for whatever reason, they all seem to default to my own mic. And even the one, some of the ones that did say you the, like worked with an external microphone, they were not working for whatever reason. Um, I got one of them to work, and then I tried it again, and it wouldn't work, and for <laughs> I still couldn't get it back. The application I'm using just now is called Open Camera. It's what I'm recording um, this footage with. It says it works with external microphones and it does. It is a fantastic application. You can use it for photos and you can use it for videos. I've talked about it before. It's a great, it's a great application that you can get. Um, I'm not sure if Apple users will run into this problem, but there will be an application out there. I just, you know, I've not tested every single app out there that does do a uh, voice recording. But I think this is a great little microphone. I think the quality is really good. I mean, this is less than ten pounds. It's about twelve dollars in the USA and a quarter around the world. It, it it's not an expensive item, but it's very useful. I mean, you be you could use this for you know for podcasting, for taking notes, for leaving voice messages, all these kind of things. Or even you know even if you're you just want a, a better microphone than what's built into your phone. Um, I'm sure you can use it in a lot of different ways. Personally, you know, I do YouTube videos and I do videos for Amazon and things like that, so I would be leaning towards using this for video. And it's pretty good, you know, if, if I ever do any kind of little, um, kind of blog, vlog style clips for my YouTube channel, this is the kind of thing that would come in very, very handy. It's very cheap and it seems like a little thing, but I do like the fact that it comes with, you know, a little carry case. Mine doesn't seem, I don't seem to need this adapter, that is something that um, I haven't had to use, but I will keep it uh, um, keep it available just in case I change my phone or, you know, I use a tablet or a laptop that does need, that do, it does need it. Now, I could plug this into my iMac, I could plug this into my laptop and it would still work as well. Now, what I want to do now, before I close off, is just take the lavalier mic off and it should default to... The microphone on my google nexus 6p and i hope this illustrates the quality of this mic and what you're going to get with it so i'll take it off just now so this is the mic and you're now listening to the front microphone on my google nexus 6p i mean the quality on that microphone is okay but you can tell the difference you should be able to tell the difference there should be less buzzing there should be, you know, less hissing and buzzing, you know, overall that the sound coming from this should be a little bit richer and just a higher quality. And, you know, this is a, this is a cheap accessory to buy. You show it there. I mean, it's, there's not much to it. It's just a little tiny microphone, a little clip, a long wire and, you know, your 3.5 millimeter jack. There is not much to it, but it works and I'm very, very pleased with it. This is something that I'm going to use in the future, perhaps not all the time, but if I'm ever, you know, um, taking my phone somewhere, I think it's going to be useful to have this, you know, if I want to do a quick vlogging style video for my, for my channel, I can just pull out my phone, I could plug in this microphone, and, you know, I could plug it in and then keep it like this, just hold the, f the phone like this, and, you know, crack open the cheesy selfie stick, and the cable is long enough, it, it's not too long, that it's going to be annoying you know you can wrap this up quite easily tie it up using a little band and you can then use this for vlogging so 
this gets a big thumbs up. I think this is a really good little accessory and I would highly recommend it um, if you're looking for something to do, you know, little vlogs, podcasting, that kind of thing. You should be able to hear the quality difference. You know, I'm talking now and, and again, as I said, the audio is coming through the default mic of the, of the Google Nexus 6P, so you should be able to hear a difference. So, I hope you've enjoyed the videos. I've, I've tried to cover everything. I wasn't able to find a good application for you all as far as recording um, this, like just, just through a, a podcast, uh, through an application, sorry, just through a, like a dictaphone, a recorder. But as you can see, again, this if you're an Android user, please do check out Open Camera. This, this is what this part of the video is being recorded on. And just to say that, you know, all the footage from the smartphone that I've been recording with the leveling mic and with the Google Nexus 6P, I'm not editing the audio in any way. I'm not enhancing it. I'm just using it raw. So what you hear and what you see is what you get. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you've got any questions, please do ask me and I'll do my best to answer them. And if you've enjoyed the video, please do consider liking, sharing or subscribing. Till next time, guys. Take care.